Hello everyone! Today we will be creating a rolling ground fog simulation for Houdini and Axiom. The setup is simple, fast, and pretty art directable. So with that, let's get started! Alright, so here is one good base example. The simulation took less than 5 minutes on a 3090. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it! In our node graph, let's start with the source. And the source begins with a simple 10 by 10 grid with a mops fall off to give our mountain some nice fall off. The core part of the source is this undulating attribute noise, uh, which we clip down here. And this lets the solver have this nice rolling, you know, emission. And we clip it with a vector, so it's a negative one, poly extrude, reverse, clip. There you go. We add a pyro source, adding density, temperature, and velocity. I don't think you need velocity for this, but why not? It's there. Uh, we also have modes at two volume scatter, so it will fill the whole uh, mesh instead of just the surface. Particle separation at whatever your voxel resolution is going to be. I keep particle scale at one. Next, the most important thing, the temperature noise. Uh, the temperature we want ever evolving as well, since a lot of this simulation relies on buoyancy and cooling rate and, you know, subtle differences in temperature. So that really helps us with that. And then we add a volume rasterize attributes. Rasterize our three volumes and coverage is density. That's it for the source. Uh, we, I'm also adding a floor and a sink, you know, just, uh, just in case it goes beyond these bounds. We want a floor on the floor, obviously. Okay, now to the actual solver. So I have this set to 0 0.02. I, I keep the uh, source usually a little lower res than that, just because it gets a bit slow. Uh, but sometimes I cache it, and it's no big deal. So back to the solver, excuse me. So division size, sourcing, set 2 to 2 on density and temperature. Output is just density. We don't need anything else for this. Okay, simulation. So, running the simulation, our attributes, dissipation, cooling rate, buoyancy, wind, disturbance, turbulence, confinement, temperature, density, and gravity. I wedged 32 simulations to show how modifying these can change the movement in subtle ways, starting with buoyancy. Confinement. Cooling rate, dissipation, disturbance, temperature, turbulence, and wind. Heading now to the example scene, we have two distinct simulations. We have this rear fog uh, and this kind of primary sim. So we'll start there. And it's a pretty similar setup. We have our pyro source here. It's a bit heavier. The scale is a lot larger. It's about 100, uh, 100 by 100 instead of 10 by 10. So it's a bit larger. This time we set up three distinct zones. Uh, with different timing and different scale. That way we could arc drag this a little, a little better. Actually here, let me just hide that. And there we go. So you can see how each kind of zone moves about very differently. Clip that, head to source. This time we're doing particle separation of 0.1. 
so it's a much larger scene, so it's not as high resolution. Temperature, same deal. Let me rasterize that as point one. Again, floor sink. Now this time we do have uh, our aircraft being our collider. So I just set it to a collision VDB. And we will go to manual. So division size is 0.05. Again, still pretty high res for the, uh, for the scale of the scene. Temperature down to 1, density 2. Simulation. Now time scale, we are slowing this down by about 30%. Cooling rate, I like to stick around 0.1. We really jack buoyancy up on this one. Uh, I also forgot to mention an important attribute here in wind is we set the mode from velocity to advection uh, and added some additional turbulence. I uh, also have it going a little up with the 0.2 on that vector here. But the advection is a pretty big part of the look, so that's an important setting to set up. Uh, output, yep, same old. And yeah, that's basically all there is to it. If we uh, preview the sim, it's a bit blotchy from up here, but when you're down here, it looks quite nice. Um, I'm also doing a VDB clip just to uh, make it a little bit more efficient. And this scene is set up with Octane. And I noticed with Octane, if you convert things to a volume, it loads a bit faster. All right, let's head to the rear simulation. Pretty similar. We have our fall off up here, our clip. Now, I wanted this to be kind of like a big back wall sim, so we have a way more source on here. Uh, I also just cached it this time because it was pretty heavy. Then when it comes to our simulation, what we do, yeah. So we really jacked wind up on this one. We made it pushing way more to the left. Also really upped our turbulence as well uh, and slowed it even further down by like 70%. And then yeah, we also increased the temperature and density. Not quite as high resolution. Again, it's so big. I didn't want this to be a billion <laughs> voxels. And yeah, even with this convert, you know, it's still 65 million here. And that's basically the scene. If we load up the camera and go to our IPR. Now, this is not the same asset as seen in the video. This is just what I'll be posting on Gumroad. Uh, it's a low poly version of the model without any of the textures or anything. Um, we'll just wait on the initial load. And there we go. On the uh, material, real quick, I just have a simple fog with a medium volume. Small density, volume set to one. It looks better if you put it as a smaller value. It just takes way longer to render. So for now, I kept it at one. And that's all there is to it. Pretty simple, pretty easy to manipulate and to modify. You can download the files on the Gumroad link in the description. Go nuts!